Bonjour tout le monde. La, la situation de forêt est toujours très grave dans l'ensemble du pays. Plus tôt cette semaine, notre équipe a parlé de ce qu'on fait actuellement pour assurer la sécurité des gens et des communautés. Je veux encore remercier tous ceux à travers le pays qui travaillent très fort pour protéger leurs voisins, nos citoyens d'un bout à l'autre de ce pays. Yesterday, I spoke with Captain Kevin Corkum and Connor Scott, two firefighters in uh, Nova Scotia. They um, were involved in a particular act of heroism, uh, putting their uh, well-being at risk, uh, racing into a uh, burning community to evacuate an elderly man who was unaware of the threats uh, they were facing. Um, as always, speaking with firefighters, um, they tried to shrug it off a little bit as, ah, it's just, it's just our job, we're just there to, to help people with that extraordinary modesty of heroes. Um, but I, I, I pushed on them a little bit. I said, you guys do these things day in and day out. Firefighters are stepping up, first responders are stepping up in harrowing situations to save their fellow citizens. And when we get an opportunity to see the direct impact and it gets a little bit of coverage and the stories get out, it is all the more important that we be there to say thank you. I actually had a nice moment with Connor where he admitted that when he'd got home at the end of the day, he hadn't quite explained in detail the uh, incident and uh, the challenges they were facing. And uh, his partner, who's pregnant with their child, just uh, um, reading the news was a little bit um, worried for him. And I think a lot about partners uh, and families of first responders when I spoke with Kevin. Um, I also spoke with his uh, wife Amanda and Leah and thank, and I want to thank right now all the families of firefighters, of first responders, of CAF members who put themselves in harm's way to protect, serve, and save Canadians from coast to coast to coast. Um, Liam's in grade four and I actually asked him if he had any advice uh, for my son who's going into grade four next year and he said it's, it gets better. Uh, it's a little challenging but not too bad. But having those moments to thank families and um, engage with the people in the front lines who are showing the very best of Canadians um, in stepping up is something I think we all need to be taking time to do, to recognize the first responders in our communities, uh, those who are there to keep us all safe, uh, even through the most difficult and devastating of times. In a moment, Minister Anand will speak to the current status of Canadian Armed Forces deployment in Alberta, Nova Scotia and Quebec. There are hundreds of Armed Forces members now deployed. Additionally, the CAF is helping with everything from delivering food and supplies to people in Mingani, Quebec, to providing logistics support for water bombers at CFB Greenwood. Des centaines de membres des Forces armées canadiennes sont actuellement déployés. Ces déploiements s'ajoutent au soutien apporté aux pompiers et à l'équipement fourni, ainsi qu'au soutien apporté aux communautés autochtones. Matching funds are also live for Alberta, the Northwest Territories, and Nova Scotia, so if you can, please consider making a donation. Before I pass it over to Minister Blair, I want to recognize the air quality statements that have been issued by Environment Canada because of wildfire smoke. People across the country are being affected. We're seeing vulnerable people at risk, outdoor events cancelled, kids having to be kept inside at recess. I can't help but think, um, from my conversation with Liam yesterday to conversations with my own kids, the past few years have been challenging for kids whether it was through the pandemic, whether it was uh, readjusting to school, whether it's now dealing uh, with file, wildfires that have everyone really worried and smoke that's preventing them from going to play outside. I want to thank kids for continuing to play safe, to be safe, and to help uh, around the house and to help their families get through these scary times, including all the kids who can't return to their homes uh, all the way across the country. Please listen to your local health agencies about how to stay safe. On vit des moments difficiles, mais ensemble, comme toujours, on va passer à travers et s'en sortir. Hello there. 
I am glad you were checking our posts, and I would love to have virtual meeting with us Wednesday or Thursday after lunch hours. Also, don't forget that we have educational webinars on Thursdays all about climate change technologies, and maybe you should be our next guest so we can share your story at no cost. So send me a reply here and looking forward to seeing you soon.